Another useful feature in Outlook 365 that we haven't really touched upon just yet is how to actually import and export a variety of Outlook items. Now in this video, we're gonna be focusing primarily on how to import and export contacts, but we'll be using the import export wizard, which is actually included with Outlook, and it can actually do much more than just import or export only your contacts. So to access the wizard, what we have to do is go to our file menu, and then we have to go to the section titled Open and Export. Now from here, we're gonna be focusing on this specific import and export button. When we click on that, we'll be taken into the import and export wizard. And as you see, we have multiple actions that we can perform here. So we could export our SSS, RSS feeds to an OPML file. We could export any Outlook information to a file, import a vCard file, and this would be importing a contact, import an iCalendar or vCalendar file, which would be importing a calendar, import from another programmer file, import your RSS feeds from an OPM OPML file or import your RSS feeds from the common feed list. So for this, I'm going to focus on just exporting to a file and then importing a vCard file. So exporting to a file, if we click next there, we have two options here. We can make an Outlook data file, which we discussed in the previous video, which can be very useful for backing up your data. But we can also create a comma separated values or .csv file. So that's what we're going to do right now. And then we're actually going to go down and we're going to try and find, let's see if we can find any of our contacts lists up at the top. I see a few. We're just going to click on that. So this will actually save our contacts list as a CSV file that another individual could open. Now, they could see the information included in our contacts list, but they would not be able to manipulate that information and then pull it in very easily into Outlook. So it's possible to import a uh, file into Outlook, a CSV file, but it's not possible to import that as a contact card, if that makes sense. Now I'm gonna go further into that when I actually show you how to import a contact card because they are different files. So what I just want you to take away from this right now is that a .csv file differs greatly from a .vcard file. So if we exit out of this and we go back to our wizard, go back to open and export, import and export, and then go to import a vCard file. So this is a contact card file used in Outlook. If we go to next, it's gonna ask us to select that file. And you'll see we're only looking for vCard files here. So even if we made a .csv file in this template section, it would not be visible to us because we're only looking for those vCard files. So while you could have an entire contact list in that .csv file, which is an Excel file, by the way, you could have an entire contact list in that file, but you wouldn't be able to import it as a contact card into Outlook just because you're not in that same format. What you can do, though, with that .csv file is then go into your own Outlook and start to populate your contacts list using the information that's provided in the file. So just remember, if you have a vCard file that may have been sent to you by another individual, you can easily import that contact to your contact list. But if you've exported your contact list or you've been given another person's contact list in that CSV file, you're gonna have to do a little bit more manual work in order to update your contact list. We hope this video helped. Make sure to click the thumbs up and click the subscribe button right here and click the link above to check out our Limelight classes, a free virtual live training. See you in the next video.